Okay, sixth grade, lesson 96. It's on functions, and then we're going to graph the functions. So this will be kind of fun today. All right, so first thing I'm going to draw on my paper is a square. Okay, and what if I told you that each of these sides were five? Okay, what would my perimeter be? Uh, 20. 20, okay. So guess what I'm going to write down? You're going to perform an equation, S on one side, P on the other. The S stands for side, and the P stands for perimeter. Okay? Okay. So, if my side, my S was a 5, okay. then what was my perimeter? 20. Good. Okay? If my S was a 6, then what would my perimeter be? Um... Six times four. Which would be? 24. 24. Very good. Okay. Now. Do we write that down? Okay. Yep. Now, I'm just going to write some random things up here. What? Okay. Now, you could actually write seven up here and figure it out every time, then write 10 up here and figure it out every time, and then write 15 and figure it out every time. Or you can sit or figure out the pattern or the function is what it's called. Okay, so what do you notice is happening from 5 to 20? It's times 4. Times 4. 6 to 24. Times 4. So guess what our function is? Times 4. So if this was 7, then what would the perimeter be? 28. Good job. Okay, and if this was 10? It would be 40. 40, right? good job. And if this was 15, 15 times 4, 60. Okay? You understand how we figured out that function? Mm hmm All right? So basically, P, the perimeter, equals four times whatever our S was. Right? So this is the formula. Okay. Perimeter equaled four times whatever the side was. Four times the side. Four times the side. Four times the side. See that? Yeah. So this would have been our equation or our formula. All right? Now, let's try another one. This time I'm not going to draw a picture up over here. We're just going to do using the function method. Okay? Now, this time, um, they're doing another square, okay? And for whatever reason, they're using the letters L and M, okay? Okay. It really doesn't matter, okay? Um, the L is the sides and the M is the P, the perimeter, okay? So, let's do this. It says, um, let's do this to find the value of M if the L is 7. Now, what I want you to see, whoops, let me write these few things on here first, okay? 5, 20. 7, blank, stay with me, 10, 25, 15, and 30. Oh, dear. Now, this one's quite a bit different, okay? Because we're not working with perimeter and size anymore. Okay, I think I said we were, but I just now realized we are not. Okay, so... This could be times something, this could be minus something, this could be plus something, this could be yeah. divided by something. So try to figure out the connection from here to here on all of these so that we can figure out what that answer is. I think it's plus 15. You're exactly right. So 5 plus 15 is 20 plus 15. 10 plus 15 is 25. 15 plus 15 is 30. So you figured out. So what is the M going to be if the L is 7? 22. 22. Excellent job. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. So you would put M equals 22, or you would just fill out this chart and circle the 22. Yeah. Okay? Feel like you, you got it? You understand it? All right, let's try another one. Now this one gets a little bit harder, but I want you to stay with me. They're going to, instead of doing it vertically, up and down, and doing the L and the M, we're going to turn it sideways and do it this way. 
Because okay. they kind of want you to see them this way and this way. Gotcha. Okay, so this was our main one, and this one is our second one. Now, remember, as if this was upside, this was standing up, and we were doing vertically. Okay. Now, don't let this freak you out. Okay. okay? Basically, what they're going to do is we're going to have three different methods. Where's like the L and M or whatever? Okay. Here is the missing piece. Okay? But the okay. good news is, is the X, when it equals 2, then this one equals 4. What's So stay with me. What's the 3 times minus 2 thing? Okay, so if X is 2, then watch this. I'm going to take this, and what, we're going to just try the 2 first. Okay? okay? So where there was an X, I'm going to put a 2. two. So, what does 3 next to a letter mean? Uh, Multiply, right? But 2 is not a letter. No, you remember how it said times X? Oh, yeah. When a number is next to a letter, 3X, mm -hmm. this is not times. Yeah. Okay? This says 3X minus 2. Okay. That really means 3 times X when a letter is next to a number. So, it's like 3 times what? Minus, Minus two. two. Okay? So what is our first one we're going to try? The first X we're going to try is our two. So let's put a two in there. Okay? And what is three times two? Uh, six. six. Minus two is four. So when we had a two as an X, the answer became a four. four. All right? Now, when we have a three and we put it into this problem as the X, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2, which is 9 minus 2. Oh, uh, 7. 7. So when we put 3 in there, what was our answer? 7. 7. Do you see how they're doing it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now they're wanting us to try a 4 in there to get our answer, which we don't know, which is why it's a question mark. Okay. So this time we're going to put the X as a 4. four. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10. So when we had X as a 4, what was our answer? 10. 10. See how we did that? That was a little bit tougher, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's hard to see it. Okay, but if you see a problem over here, 3X, you're going to put what your X's are each time and then put your answer underneath it. Got that? Mm -hmm. A little bit harder, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, you still staying with me? Yep. All right. Now we're going to graph them. This is kind of where it gets fun. Okay? So on your paper, um, we're going to draw that S and that P when we we're working with side and perimeter. Okay. When it made perfect sense. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if I had my square up here, okay, now they're going to give us a few of, of the information. So they're going to tell us one two, three, and four, okay? So if our sides were one, Eli, mm -hmm. what would our perimeter be? A four. Four. So what's happening each time? It's a plusing. Wait, what so do you mean? From one to four, what am I It'd doing? It would be one times four. One times four? Two. Two times four is eight. Uh-huh. Three times four, three times twelve. Twelve. Four times four, is 16. 16. Very good. Okay, so there's our information. You see how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was pretty easy. We learned how to do that earlier. Now, you're going to graph it, okay? And how you're going to graph it is drawing an L. Good job. Okay, now, on the graph, you need to have labeled one side as something and the other side as something, okay? So let's do... Um, we can either do the length of side or the length um, of the perimeter, so or the perimeter answer. So let's do the length of the side here, length of side, and this can be the perimeter. Now I'm going to explain to you what I mean, okay? Now, what are our lengths in our sides? Uh, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put one, two, three, and four. 
See how I'm making my own chart? Yep. Okay. Now this one, okay, we can make however we want. Well, as you can see, it goes from four all the way to 16. So what would be the best way to label this perimeter? We could do it by twos, by fours, by ones. How do you want to do it? Uh, I don't care. Okay. Just do it by fours. Okay. So four, eight, 12, and 16. So we don't even need these. But if we'd have done them by twos, we could have kept, you know, doing them. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to erase this because I'm going to put perimeter right here. Okay. And this was four, eight, 12, and 16. Okay. So when my length of my side was one, what was my perimeter? What? My length of your side was one. What was it? It was a uh, four. So we're going to go, it was this one and this one. Yeah. Length of side was one. Perimeter was four. Okay. Kind of like, um. Yeah. Like a. That's that game. What was it? Battleship. Battleship. Okay. Now, if the length of side was two, then what was our perimeter? Eight. Eight. So two, eight. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if our length of our side was three, then what was our perimeter? Twelve. Twelve. And if our length of our side was four, and our perimeter was sixteen. Mm. Okay. And guess what we just did? We made a line. <laughs> okay? We graphed it. That's to show you if we kept increasing the line and I would have went 5 and this would have been 20 and our dot would have went here. Yep. So I could have kept going and that means that little arrow means it would keep going that way. Okay? You understand that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do one more graph. Okay, again, draw it on your paper. Draw an L on a different spot. Okay. Okay, now, we're doing an equilateral triangle. Do you remember what equilateral triangle means? Every side is the same. Every side is equal. Very good. So if this is two, this is two, this is two. You get it? That's a, okay. So, and here's what they tell us. Make a table for this function using the side lengths as... S side is S and perimeter. So we're doing S and P, side and perimeter. They want us to do the sides 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if my sides were 1, what would my perimeter be? Of the triangle, it would be 3. 3. So what is happening? If my sides were 2, then what would my perimeter so be? 2 times 3 is very good. Six. So everything's times 3. Good job. Okay. Because yeah. there's three sides, right? So when there was a 1, it, that perimeter is going to be 3. When there was a 2, perimeter is going to be 6. 3, perimeter is 9. 4, perimeter is 12. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to make a chart. Okay? So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what is this one? 2, huh? What is this chart about? One, two, three, and four. We the sides or the perimeters? Uh, that's the side. Okay, so you want to label it side. Four side. Gotcha. Okay, and then we're going to label this perimeter. Okay. And it be. And this time I'm going to do it by. I'm going to show you something because I want to do it by smaller ticks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So, each tick is worth how much? Um, 1. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So, when my side was 1, what was my perimeter? 4, 5. Six, just six. You finishing it up? Nine, ten. You might want to put perimeter of triangle right here. Triangle. Okay. Okay. What's so, it? if my side was one, what is my perimeter? Uh, three. Three. So I'm gonna go over one and up 
three. See how I did that? I skipped the first two. Three. Good. Yeah. When my side was two, my perimeter was uh, six. Six. So I'm going to go over, over two and up six. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Same thing, number three. If the side was three, then the perimeter would be uh, nine. Nine. Excellent. And last one, if the side was four, then perimeter would be 12. And as you can see, what's happening again? My line. line. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. Now, we're going to do one. We're actually done with the lesson. But when I taught this at school, a lot of the kids had problems with letter E. So let's do it together. Okay? So okay. listen to what I say. There was a chemist who mixed a thing of solution that weighed, I'm just going to put down important information, two pounds. LBS stands for pounds. Per quart. Two pounds per quart. Okay? Then it says this. Create a table of ordered pairs for this function if we have... One, two, three, and four quarts. Okay? So, what should my chart show? What and what? Uh, side and perimeter? No, there's no sides and no perimeters. What are you saying? Oh. This is where they got confused too. So, yeah, okay. So, what are the methods, the two things that we're comparing here? Um, Something weighed two quarts pounds. Quarts and pounds? Quarts and pounds. So, we're going to do that. Quarts, Q. And I'm going to put LBS for pounds. Okay. okay. Now, there were two pounds per how many quarts? Uh, two pounds per, per quart. Yeah. So one quart. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to put per one quart. So for every one quart, how many pounds were there? Uh, two. So if there were two quarts, how many pounds would there be? Four. If there were three quarts, how many pounds would there be? Uh, five? Well, wait a minute. What, what's wait. happening from here to here? It would be f eight. Well, no. What's happening? From one? Six. Yes. Yep. So what am I doing? I'm multiplying by two, right? Yeah. So I figured out my function. Remember that? So this is times two. Three times two is six. And if I did four quarts, then what would, would my be pounds eight. be? Eight. Very good. Now we have to graph it. Okay. Do you want to do quarts on this side and pounds here, or pounds and quarts? You can do it however you want to. Quarts and pounds. Quarts here, pounds. Yeah. I'm going to put quarts and pounds, LBS. All right. So we're going up by one, two, three, fours. One, two, three, four. And pounds, it goes from two to eight. Do you want to count even, or do you want to do every dot? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds. Got it? Okay, so when I had one quart, I forgot to enter in this. One, two, three, four. So when I had one quart, how many pounds did I have? Two. One quart, two pounds, boom. Yep. Two quarts, four. One, two quarts, four. It's just the same thing. Same thing. Three, six, one, two, three, over six, and four. One, two, three, four, and over eight. Okay? And as you can see, we've got another line. Okay? That's lesson 96.